and uh, in the car this morning we have Laura Van Wee McGrory from the US uh, Alliance to Save Energy. Tell us about uh, how you came into, into this, uh, this business. Right out of college, I ended up working as a consultant for the US Environmental Protection Agency and happened to be in the Office of Air and Radiation where they were working on voluntary programs to try to address climate change. After a few years of that, I worked with the IPCC, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. helping to create uh, several of the, of the assessment reports and special reports of IPCC. Climate change was clearly established as my main interest and, to me, the most important issue anybody could work on. Uh, Laura, we're in, uh, in Katowice, in southern Poland, uh, at COP24. These uh, international gatherings are immensely important, of course, because this is where decisions are made at the highest level. From your perspective, how effective is this, is this process? Uh, are we doing okay? These talks are extremely important. I think they're very effective at bringing attention to the problem that is the, the most difficult problem our planet has ever faced. Um, they're also uh, extremely good opportunities to bring together NGOs, private sector, civil society into one place to compare notes and to talk about what can be done. Mm -hmm. um, Energy efficiency is a topic that uh, comes up all the time in these conversations. What role has energy efficiency played uh, in your view? I think the important thing is that energy efficiency is an energy resource. Mm -hmm. It is our cleanest, cheapest, fastest energy resource. Let's save the thing that we have instead of wasting it. Exactly. So let me give you an example from the United States. Mm -hmm. um, if the United States, so without the energy efficiency measures that the United States has put into place since the 1970s, mm -hmm. our economy would need 50% more energy to run than it does now. Right. There's, there's a term we've used more and more to try to get to this very concept, and that's energy productivity. Mm -hmm. So we talk about energy productivity, um, you can ter talk about it in terms of a country or of a company. Energy productivity is getting more economic output out of every unit of energy that you use. Mm -hmm. um, the United States has doubled our energy productivity once already and we're, aiming, we're um, working to double it again, mm -hmm. um, probably by uh, about 2035. Mm -hmm. In order for countries to be able to develop the way they need to and the way they deserve to and have us still meet our climate targets, you really need to decouple that energy growth from economic growth mm -hmm. and allow companies to develop without having energy growth you know, rise at the same rate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what energy productivity does. Mm -hmm. And you get there through energy efficiency improvements. The Alliance has been working on uh, energy efficiency for a long time. What are the new areas that you're looking at? in particular these days? One of the things that the Alliance to Save Energy does is to convene diverse sets of stakeholders to work together on areas of energy efficiency that we see have present a need or an opportunity mm -hmm. for more collaboration than is happening. Mm -hmm. Two areas we've been working on recently uh, are buildings and transportation. So in terms of buildings, um, we've seen and we know that Despite the fact that building components and equipment are getting more and more efficient, global building energy use continues to rise. We're asking each one of our guests to give us a, a takeaway, a pill of uh, information. What is your climate message to the world? My climate message is that it's clear from the most recent IPCC report that we really need to speed up our efforts to combat climate change and that energy efficiency needs to be a huge part of that solution. It is the cleanest, fastest, cheapest energy, clean energy resource. Mm -hmm. um, we know what we need to do. Uh, we just need to double down on it. So governments and private sector need to work together to uh, make our transportation systems, our buildings, our industry more efficient. Uh, thank you for being with us. It's been lovely. Thank and you so thank much. You, thank you for all the hard work you're doing. Thank you. And uh, enjoy the rest of your, your visit. The weather being, well, not exactly welcoming, but you know. It's lovely. Thank you. <laughs>